I always felt the Sermon on the Mount was difficult to understand because what Jesus says is so upside down and backwards from how the rest of the world seemingly works. Jesus opens the Sermon on the Mount with what's called the Beatitudes, what we've been going through in these devos. In Matthew 5, 5, Jesus says, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. If you're like me, you're thinking, man, you gotta be pretty amazing. You're gonna inherit the earth. But then you might be a little underwhelmed when you look at what meek means. Mild, gentle, humble, submissive. How do we live a life that is meek in today's world without seeming too timid or inferior or a pushover? It's difficult to live meek by trying to concentrate really hard on being mild, gentle, humble, and submissive. But the more we recognize God's sovereignty, his power over our lives and submit to that, the more natural it will be to live out a spirit that is meek. If you're still concerned about what being meek would mean for you, look no further than one of the most powerful kings of all time, King David. In Psalm 37, verse 11, he wrote that, the meek shall inherit the land and delight themselves in abundant peace. Very similar to what Jesus said. The surrounding verses in Psalm 37 assure us of God's faithfulness to his people and the protection he provides against those who come against them. One theologian describes meekness in this chapter like this. They say, meekness is strength for trust in a sovereign God. And David imagines the first step to be rolling his burdens onto the Lord. All throughout scripture, we're assured that those who are meek, gentle, humble, and submissive have favor and protection from God.